Hi, this video will cover Chapter 13 Excel workbook regarding ANOVA testing. <clears throat> so let's begin. There's five different sheets in this workbook, and I'm going to go right to the Kahoot Q01 Q03 sheet. Okay, now let's look at some background here. The data we have, we have some data regarding it says the following data are from an experimental design to investigate the perception of corporate ethical values among individuals who are in marketing. Three groups are considered, management, research, and advertising. Higher scores indicate higher ethical values. Okay, so how do we create an ANOVA data analysis on this data? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on data, the data tab in Excel. I'm gonna click on data analysis here. And I'm gonna select from the data analysis pop-up window, ANOVA single factor. I'll click OK. It's gonna ask me a few questions here in order to generate the output. I'm gonna click on the arrow here and select my input range, which is A1 to C7, press enter, group by columns. Labels are in the first row. As you can see, row one contains the labels. I'm gonna check this box here. Alpha is 0 0.05. That's kind of the standard. That's kind of like the default is 0 0.05. And then finally, an output range. I can, I can put it into a new workbook, a new sheet, or just the output range onto this sheet, which is what I like to do. So I'll click on output range. Click, click the selection here. And I'll just select cell A9 and press OK. And there we have it. There's our ANOVA analysis on this data here. So here's my variation table. Um, you can see I have my decrease of freedom, my MS numbers, my F value number here, my P value, my F critical number here. So it gives you all that data for you by simply selecting this area here, okay? But what if I don't have these kind of numbers? What if I'm giving just some of these values in a, a variance table here? So let's see how we would approach that kind of problem, okay? So let's look at our example variance table sheet. And as you can see here, let's look at the first one here. So we have a couple examples set up and we're gonna scroll here to the right here a little bit. And it says here, an experiment has been conducted for four treatments with eight blocks. Complete the variance table. So it's saying fill in the green cells. Okay, so that's what we got here. So we have here our source of variation, sum of squares, degrees of freedom, mean square and our F value. And notice we have some green cells here, okay? And down here, I have kind of like a little key here showing the calculations, okay? So we're gonna kind of refer to the key and the cell values here, kind of back and forth. So right here, we have the treatments. They give you the treatments, 1,000. They give you the blocks, 600. And they give you a total of 2,000. So basically, these three numbers here, 1,000, 600, and whatever this number is, has to equal 2,000. We're doing some simple math, 2,000 minus 1,000 minus 600 is 400 here. So basically the point is, is that if I was to give, you were given any of these three values, you can figure out the fourth value. And there's this little cheat number here, I'll call it a little cheat number, reference number if you would, it is the sum of these three numbers here, which should total to this number here. So that's a good, it is a good check, okay? So all right, so we got this filled in. What about these two numbers here? So let's see, look, we have our treat, treatments, which is K. We have, the story problem tells us we have four treatments with eight blocks. So we have a four in this cell and an eight in the block cell. And it gives us our numbers here. So let's go through this really quick. We have treatments, which is four, blocks, which is eight, which came from the story problem. Four times eight is 32. So our treatments times our blocks is 32. And our degrees of freedom, so let's look, it's a three here. Well, why is it three? So it's K minus one. So four minus one is three. The degrees of freedom for the blocks is seven. Well, how is seven? Eight minus, so B, eight minus one is seven, okay? The error here is basically, it's saying K one, K minus one, multiplied by B minus one, or three times seven is 21. And then obviously, two ways to approach this number, I can add up these three numbers here to three, the seven, and the 21 gives us the 31, or I could take 32 minus one, which is 31. Again, good cross-reference here, okay? 
So mean squared, how we figure out our mean squared, MSTR is the SSTR divided by K minus one. So a thousand divided by three equals 333.33. Blocks, the MSBL is, is SSBL, the sum of squares for blocks, divided by the degrees of freedom, which is seven, it's 85, 85.71. And the error is the same thing. It's just the 400 divided by the 21 gives you 19.05, okay? So then if I take the MSTR number here, the 333.33 divided by 19.7, 19.05 gives you 17.5 for net value, okay? Let's look at this next problem here, okay? So it says here, in a question, in a completely randomized design, okay? It says here, 12 experimental units for a first treatment, 15 experimental units were used for a second treatment, and 220 experimental units were used for their treatment. Complete the variance table. Okay, so we got 12 experimental units, 15 experimental units, and 20 experimental units for each of the three treatments respectively, okay? So treatments is what? Well, our treatments is three, okay, so we have three treatments, and what's our NT? It's 12 plus 15 plus 20, so that's 47 here, okay, and then we have here, again, it gives you your numbers here, as you notice, it filled them right away, your degrees of three, three minus one is two, your error, but we, 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 we didn't calculate this yet, so let's take, let's take a time out and calculate this, so we have 1300 plus a number equals 1800. Well, again, if I give you two or three, the two or two of the three of these numbers, you can figure out that they're a number. So given the total, given the treatment, so 1800 minus 1300 is what? 500. So we got our 500. So now I got, here I got 1300 divided by two equals 650. 500 divided by 44, which is the 47 minus the three is 11.36. Adding these two up gives you your 46. I can take 47 minus one, same thing, okay? And finally, our degrees of, our, our F value is the MSTR, which is the 650 divided by 11.36. So again, you could use either of these two tables for any problem, any of your story problems, you just kind of a few of these simple numbers here in the green and everything else is calculated for you, okay? So, and that concludes this video. Thank you.